so okay. this meeting is being recorded okay so so basically the kids are gone and if you wanted to move you just you would downsize yeah i hear of all these new communities popping up sure yeah. and older. well how how quickly you know if your house is pretty big right now it looks like you've got a it's like a 4200 square foot home yeah you do have a big home for just two of you um uh, when would you like to be in a smaller home oh well right now with the way the interest rates are i wouldn't want to take on a new mortgage yeah well you know have you ever thought about renting your home out um yeah i actually have done that before but I still, when I look at these interest rates, they I'm just kind of waiting for them to adjust. Yeah, no. Yeah, I understand that. Um, you know, is there, a, you know, would there be a good time to come over and talk to you? You know, I have you know, tomorrow at three, three, three. I have tomorrow have at three o'clock available or Saturday at two. Um, I, my, my husband's out of town, so I don't know that this week at work. Okay. Well, um, do you know what I do to get home sold? Uh, no. I see the yeah. sign on the corner. Yeah. Well, perfect. Well, I'd love to be able to show you and your husband. Uh, and let's do this. Uh, how about uh, I have April um, 27th at 4 o'clock available. Will that work for you? What day of the week is that? That's a He's Tuesday. That's on a Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, this Let's is go warm, ahead. Kyle. What's that? <laughs> this is warm. <laughs> I'm just teasing. It's, I'm sorry, my I have using my 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 speaker from the computer. I don't have my headset, and it's hard to hear. Oh, sorry. No, no. So, would would next Tuesday be better for you? Um. Yeah, that that'd work. Okay, next Tuesday, perfect. Um, I will uh, I will send out a packet for you to look look over, and then I'll give you a call back and confirm our conversation. That'd be great. Okay, thank you. You bet. Yeah, sorry, it's really hard to hear. My it kept going in and out. Oh dang. Yeah, it's hard to do this if you, especially if you can't hear anything. Um, just really quick, um, Kyle, you making these calls, have you had any success with these calls? Um, yeah, yeah and the, well, in the last couple of months, I've gotten a couple of them. Um, so it's mostly, let's see, how many I've gotten? Um, are you calling like around your listings, around yeah, companies? Yeah, I do I do five five on each side of the house and, and ten across the street. And I'm either okay. knocking or yeah. And I got I actually talked to him yesterday across the street and he's warm. He's like he doesn't want to drop the price, you know. He thinks his house is gold and and so yeah, I was talking to him uh, yesterday a couple times, just following mm -hmm. up with him and I sold the house across the street for 845 and he wants 850 and his is smaller, but it has a casita. So, you know, that's to him that makes it worth another thirty thousand dollars more. So awesome. So this is goes along the line, you know, business breeds business, right? So you get a listing, the company takes a listing, or even if you have a buyer that you can't find a home for, right? You go out to those neighborhoods. I have a buyer that wants to buy in your neighborhood and you actually have a buyer, right? You're not just pretending to have a buyer. So, you know, it it actually does work if you do have intention behind it. Um, so just something to think about. Um, I've taken, I've, you know, my first year in the business took, you know, I closed 45 transactions just doing cold stuff like this. So it's just a matter, you know, right now we we have to remember, you know, we're working in a market where you know we feel like everyone has a two three percent interest rate we feel like no one wants to go out and buy a house for the high rates that we're having and you know we're we're seeing multiple offers on everything so prices are starting to inch back up so we ha we can't lose sight that there's always reasons why people are moving right 
job transfers, death, divorce. Um, they they need more room. They've they've had more kids. Um, they can rent their house, like Kyle said. Um, John. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. Hold you on. had your hand raised. Oh, I did. I didn't mean to. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I think that you know a lot of times in the in this kind of a market we start feeling a little defeated like you know trying to find leads and that kind of thing and so i think we just have to remember that yes do we have to talk to more people do we have to be better at pre-qualifying so we're not wasting a lot of our time um you know i did attach the pre-qual script to this as well just to you know not lose sight of that if we're going to go out and do some of our this cold prospecting um i like to call it more warm because if we really practice these scripts it can be more warm um but just to really pre-qualify because you do feel like you're bouncing against the wall if you're not really pre-qualifying people and you're just kind of going out on everything um that you're coming across if that makes any sense um who who else on the call has done a little bit of just listed just sold type prospecting john has is anybody else not for a while but you have done a little bit of it donna i have just not for a while okay so. well i know john are you driving right now no okay well do you want to be i'll let john or do you do you want to go try it out donna um <laughs> or sure. do you want to have john have a turn i'll try it okay um john will you be the seller or sure. not the seller but the um, neighbor the neighbor yes. all right donna whenever you're ready okay ring ring hello hi this is donna with remax how are you doing today i'm doing good good i just listed a house down around the corner from you it's the four bedroom three baths with a three-car garage yeah it's at 12 21 18 oh yeah yeah i saw that yeah, and I was just wondering, who do you know, do you want to pick your neighbor? Who do you want to know that would like to move into your area? Um, Geez, nah. nobody that I can think um, of off the top of my head. Have you ever been in that house? I haven't. I've driven past it, but I've never been inside. Uh -uh. Yeah, it's a nice one. Um, how long have you lived in the neighborhood? Oh, we've been here about 10 years. Oh, nice. Where, where did you move from? Uh, we moved from just uh, just out of a, a little condo over in uh, Clearfield. Oh, okay. So you didn't move too far. No. Oh, nice. So you, how have you liked the move? Um, um, this house was good for us to raise our family in. And uh, yeah, it's been really nice. Nice. Do you have any plans of moving in the near future? Um, you know, it kind of crossed our mind, but uh, I think we're going to stay put for a while. So are your kids grown or they're still in the house? Yeah, I mean, they're, uh, we just got one more that's uh, going to graduate high school, but the rest of them have moved out and started their own families. Gotcha. Well, if you ever were going to move, where would you move? Oh, that's a great question. Um, you know, this is a big house. We'll probably get something maybe all on one level, a little smaller. Oh, but, so uh, I'm not sure where we'd move. You'd like to stay in the area? I think so, yeah. Gotcha. So if you could get a good price for your house that made sense to move into a single level and stay in the area, is that something you'd be willing to discuss? Well, yeah, I think so. But from what I've heard, you know, the, the market's terrible right now. Prices have really gone down. Is that true? Uh, not necessarily. I mean, some were really inflated. People are still getting great, great amount for the house. Kind of depends on the price and the condition, honestly. Oh, wow. Are you interested in finding out what you your house could go for now? Uh, yeah, I'd be kind of curious. You want to just send me something in the, in the mail? I could, sometimes it varies on condition. I'd only take 
five or 10 minutes, I can meet with you and your wife and just do a quick walkthrough, give you an idea, show you what the market is, and then you guys could decide. Would you guys have any time, say at the end of, wait, end of the week on Thursday or maybe Friday afternoon? Yeah, Thursday would work. Thursday would work? Okay, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll see you between at 5.30, if that okay. works for you. Yeah, 5.30 works. All right, great. Thanks, John. I look forward to meeting with you and your wife. What was your wife's name again? Uh, Cheryl. Cheryl, great. I'll see you both on Thursday at 5.30. Okay, thank you. Thanks, bye. Hey, Donna, that wasn't that, that bad, was it? No, I'm not good at staying totally on script, but... You don't have to be on script. These are just, these are questions that kind of guide you through the conversation. Like the first six questions are kind of like the questions that have been around for like the 30 whatever years I've been in the business. I only had the first six questions. There actually used to only be five. <laughs> and it's just like, like icebreakers trying to build rapport with people. Um, so it's just a matter of getting out and just getting people to kind of break down their walls to start talking to you, start getting their motivation, their time frame. Um, you did awesome. And you know what I need to get on the phone and not get busy with other things. I need to yeah, or, or like just make it a goal to like when you list something or maybe once a week, like get out a couple times yeah. a week, get out, look up a company's listing or whatever, and just go knock the, you know, two sides of a street and see yeah, if you can I need go, to. Yeah, go drum up some business. Um, I can't tell you the times that I've even, you know, been on a realtor tour where, I mean, there was one time I was on a realtor tour and there were 60 agents in this one home and I came walking out ahead of everybody and um, there was a neighbor walking down the street and I ended up listing her house like a $2 million home for, you know, for her. Yeah, and there's awesome. like 60 agents in the house. But I'm just saying like, you know, it's called, you know, being out, just, you know, doing it, just being somewhere doing it, right? Um, this is the pre-qualifying script. So when we do the role play, I always have everybody end with, before I come out, you know, Thursday at 5.30, there's just a few more questions I need to ask you. Just in case like you haven't found out anything about the house, um, you haven't like found out if the spouse is going to be there too. Um, because there's been times, you know, and I always say this, that there's agents that set an appointment and they don't know the address. They haven't written down the phone number. They don't know where they're going or who they're meeting with. They don't know anything about the house because they're so excited about, you know, getting the appointment. So just, and then even going deeper into it, the more questions you ask, the more chances you have of that appointment sticking, especially if it's someone that you're talking to for the first time. So that when the spouse comes home and they already know somebody in real estate, they're gonna like, that person that you spoke with is going to fight for that appointment for you a little bit harder than just canceling on you, right? So the more questions you can ask about why they're moving, what their plans are, how soon they need to be there, you know, is the house in a trust? How much do they own the property? Have they ever thought about selling it themselves? Do you need to prepare for that conversation, right? Don't be afraid to ask these questions. You want to know if there's any conditions that are going to stop you from, you know, taking that listing. So... This just will help you go on out, go out on more qualified appointments. You know, and in this market, if you're going to be doing this type of prospecting, we just want to make sure that, you know, we're not going out on, you know, just everything. We want to go out on qualified things. And, and you know, again, we have to talk to more people, right? Just because of, you know, the market that we are in. So just to save time. Um, Let's see, who do we have on here? John. We also have Brian, Allie. Let's see. Allie, do you want to be on the phone while John does the scripting? I just got back in my car driving. Oh, great. Sorry. <laughs> and, Al and I don't know if I know Allie. You, it's been a long time, Katie, but I was, you were my broker at Century 21 and now I'm in St. George. Oh my gosh. 
well, how are you doing? Four or, five, four, four or five years. And I just got back from carpool. So I'm not quite ready to be on camera. Okay. Well, I'm so glad to have you here. Or I'm so glad to be here with you again. <laughs> Let's see. So we have Brian. Do you want to turn? Yeah, I'll take a turn. And Don, are you participating today? Yes, I am. Awesome. So, um, Brian, will you do the script? And Don, will you be the person that he? Uh, uh, oh my gosh, Brian, you're the agent, and okay. Don, you're the other person. All right, go ahead, so, Brian. A quick question, just to clarify, this script is this a separate conversation from like a follow up conversation, just to confirm the appointment? Is that kind of the objective here? Nope. Here we're doing the just listed script. I was on the oh, wrong page. Okay, we're going back to that one. Okay. Yep. There you go. Okay, gotcha. All right, same one then. I thought we were switching to a different one. Nope. <laughs> okay, I'm with you. All right. Um, hi, my name is Brian with Remax. Uh, I just listed a home for sale over on 1000 East. Uh, it's a five bedroom, three bath house, about uh, 3,500 square feet. And it's listed for uh, 650. Um. And I was wondering, uh, who do you know that would uh, like to move into your area? You have a chance to pick your neighbor. Um, well, I know a few people I wouldn't want to move into my neighborhood, but I can't think of anybody yeah. right offhand that would uh, be interested in moving here. Yeah, all right. No, no problem. I uh, appreciate you taking the time to think about it. Um, so I was wondering, uh, when do you plan on moving? Uh, I think my wife and I are here for, for a while, yeah. Are you? Okay. So how long have you lived at this address? Oh, uh, we've been here about 30 years. Oh, wow. Quite a long time. Well, it's a, it's a great neighborhood. So uh, where'd you, where'd you move from before that? Uh, down the street. Just down the street. Okay. All right. Um, so if you, if you were to move at some point, where would you go? Oh, that's, that's a great question. Uh, my wife and I had that discussion weekly. Yeah. Uh, do you have uh, do you have kids at home? You empty uh, nesters or? Yeah, we're empty nesters. So we've Are got uh, two kids who live out of state. So we. Uh, OK. Yeah, that's the dilemma. Where do we go? Yeah, would, uh, I mean, do you, if you thought about uh, maybe moving closer to, to the kids or being closer to the grandkids? Well, that's the problem. We've got two out of state and one here. So okay. what do you do? Yeah, you to decide who your favorite is, I guess, huh? Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, so uh, let's see. Where did he say he was going again? Uh, yeah, I guess, uh, Don, what, uh, what state do your kids live in then? Uh, Texas. In Texas, okay. That's well, a little warmer down there. It can be, yes. Yeah, escape the, the long, cold winters we have here. And then maybe just kind of go off of that, you know, have you ever thought of getting back with, you know, moving where your kids are? Yeah, so have you thought about moving down to, to Texas, be closer to them, Don? Uh, yeah, we've thought about it. Uh, it. You know, like I say, it's just a dilemma. Do you, do you choose those two over the one that lives here or do you choose the one here over those two? So. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, I'd love to, to sit down and, and meet with you and uh, you know just uh, see what, what options you might have, uh, get you a little closer to, to Texas. Um, you know, we could sit down and discuss uh, what value of your home could be, what we could sell it for. Um, also, just share with you what I could do to help you sell your home. Um, I've got time uh, next week, next Tuesday or Thursday uh, afternoon or or morning be better for you. Well, I, I'm not quite sure we're at the point where we're ready to meet with an agent. Okay. You know, what what questions would you would you have for me? I might be able to help you. Um. Well, what are, uh, I heard interest rates are really high right now. Yeah, they have been a little, little high, you know, when, when we get used to the, the 3% or below interest rates, a little bit higher than they are now. 
Okay. Yeah, that that kind of affects our decision on uh, what we kind of what we want to do, and you know, if we want to use all our equity as a down payment or or what we'd want to do with that. Yeah, I totally understand that. Um, you know, and we we have some strategies that we use to help offset the the higher interest rates. Um, when you're looking at uh, buying a new home, uh, you know, there's some options where we can have the sellers uh, help to to pay pay some of those closing costs, uh, help to buy down your rate. So yeah, there's some there's some great options out there. Um, you know, and we can we can definitely discuss that and and find ways that we can get a home that would be affordable for you. Yeah, that would be great to have an affordable home. Okay, fantastic. Well, yeah, I'd love to love to meet with you guys. Um, if you've, you've got some time next week. Uh, yeah, next week, next week, maybe around uh, Thursday or so. Okay, perfect. Uh, should we shoot for about, uh, say, two o'clock in the afternoon? Yeah, that would be fine. Okay, all right, sounds great. I'll see you then. Thank you. So sorry, I wasn't listening very good to the beginning of the conversation. So did he say that he wanted a more affordable home? Like a like a downsize? Uh, no, I guess that would be a question I could have asked, right? Oh, no, I'm just trying to figure out, like, I didn't realize he had uh, kids here and kids in Texas. Right. So maybe try to find another motivation. You know what uh -huh. I mean? And yep. if you can't find another motivation um, other than, you know, if he does want to like downsize or do something else, um, you know, you could work off maybe that instead of like trying to decide from him, like what child he wants to live by. <laughs> right, right. Um, uh, then the other thing is, you know, if, if that conversation goes dead, maybe, you know, the fact that he's got some equity in his house, you know, try to see if he's thought about investing you know, using his equity to invest in something. Yeah, no, that's um, a good idea. And then if his kids have been able to buy something, you know, have your kids or family members, ha does anyone need any help purchasing or selling something right now? So, you know, buying, selling, investing, family members, friends, buying something, you know, there's always those conversations. You're looking for that appointment, right? Yep. So, no, I apologize. I wasn't, I wasn't paying close attention to the first of the conversation. <laughs> no, but great job. You see how just asking the questions. And so the purpose of this is just to like, you know, just talk to more people right now, right? There's so many reasons why people move. So when we're in a market like this, we just have to talk to more people, you know, uncover their motivation, find out, you know, there's always reasons why people need to move and just not get in that rut where we think that, you know, well, this is just a bad time. Like no one's going to move. That's not true. There's always people moving, right? We just have to go find them. It's just if we're going to just sit and, and not go look for them, then, you know, we're not going to find them. So um, let's see here. Don, are you ready? Sure. Let's see here. Um, Brian, will you be his uh, the person that he speaks with? Sure. Yep. Okay. Go for it, Don. I'll move this. Uh, hey, this is Don Patton with Remax Associates. Uh, just sold a home in your neighborhood. And uh, statistics show that every time a home in a neighborhood sells, there's another home that comes up for sale within a few months of that or even a few weeks. Just happen to know, do you know which homeowner that might be in this neighborhood? Um, you know, not anybody that comes to mind. I haven't heard of anybody looking to sell right now. Okay. Well, I appreciate you thinking about that. Uh, how about you? When, uh, how long have you lived here, Brian? Oh, uh, see, we've been here about four years. Okay, great. Where did you move here from? Uh, just the other side of Lehigh. Okay. Okay. And what, what made you pick this neighborhood? Um, it was a little quieter neighborhood and uh, you know, a little bigger home than we were in before. Okay, great, great. Okay. Um, if you were to ever move, well, where, where would you move to? 
Oh, I don't know. Um, you know, maybe uh, maybe over to Highland. Okay, yeah, that's a that's a really nice area. Uh, any have any time frame for when you'd want to make that move, Brian? Uh, yeah, we'd like to in the next year or two. Okay. Um, is there a specific event or something happening that, that you're waiting for in the next year or two for that to, to happen? Uh, no, not, not, ne not necessarily something specific. Mm -hmm. Just, uh, you know, feel like it's maybe getting close to time to have a little change. Okay. Okay. Um, if it made sense to you to make a move now, would that be a possibility? um yeah i guess i guess it would be we found the right right house the right price might make sense okay would there be a time that i could speak to you and your wife about maybe making that possibility and, and show you some information if that makes sense we can move forward um yeah i don't know i hadn't really been thinking about it um i mean is it uh i don't know if it's a, a good time with the way the market is right now Okay. And when you say the way the market is right now, what, what's your definition of, of the way the market is? I don't know. Is it, it seems like uh, it's hard to, to hard to sell a house right now or. You know, Brian, the last listing good price I took, out of it. Um, the last listing I took, uh, we had multiple offers in four days and it sold for full price. So um, wow. it, it's, okay. it's not as bad as the media wants you to think. Um, so yeah, I'd love the opportunity to sit down with your wife, kind of go over numbers, what your current home's worth and, and how much equity you would have to put down on that new home over in Highland. All right. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't hurt to take a look at the numbers. Okay. Would, um, Tuesday at, uh, seven work or Wednesday at three be better for you? Uh, probably Wednesday would be better. Okay. Well, let's just plan on Wednesday. Uh, before I go, I just have a couple of more questions for you, if you don't mind. Good morning. Yeah, no oh, shoot. Okay, thank you. Great job, Don. Do you see how uh, Don just totally, like just gave him the confidence in his moving forward? And that's all that he needed to like move forward with Don? That was great, Don. Thank you. Let's see here. Um, I'm just going to see who exactly is still on the call. Um, I was going to really quick, I put the information for pricing uh, just because I've had a lot of agents talking about just the difficulty in having a seller price the home right right now. Even though we're getting a lot of multiple offers in a lot of situations. I think it's important to still go in and, you know, price the home correctly. Um, so if, if you guys are struggling with that, if you do have listings that are not selling, um, I did post that again on this, uh, on the email and it's these sheets right here. And what it does is it just kind of goes through and gives you some ideas just because it's been a while since we've had to even worry about pricing. Um, it just gives you some ideas of what to, you know, here are four scenarios that are going to happen when we first list your home and just kind of sets those expectations for your seller. Um, and then the next part goes into, you know, just making sure that we know clearly the motivation of the seller, because then when we have to go back and get that price reduction, it makes it that much easier to go back and get that price reduction. Because, you know, if you take a listing and you know it's overpriced, if there's high motivation, you know, you're absolutely going to take that listing, right? Even if it's overpriced, because you know that they're going to see reason. You told them the truth. You're still going to take that listing. But if you go into it, taking it overpriced, not telling them the truth, there's no motivation. Like you're setting yourself up for kind of a disaster. Um, the next part kind of goes into... Um, just making sure, you know, as you're setting the price, you're knowing that you need to be in Ohio in the next, you know, you know, 60 days. After looking at these three similar properties that have sold, where do you feel or think your property needs to be priced to make sure that we're in line with the market? 
It's always about the market, right? It's never about you, your company. It's always about what the market is dictating about value. They price it, the market sets the value and get you the most money and get you moved in the quickest amount of time, giving you and your family the most convenience through this moving process. And then this is just four scenarios. So you have it listed and you've got to get a price reduction. This kind of gives you four ideas to go back to the seller. You know, you sit down with them, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, you know, I have to apologize. When I listed your home, I was not strong enough when we when we talked about price. You know, I've done this before, you guys. It it really works. Um, these are just four ideas that you can go back to your seller and uh, you know, with a price price reduction. And then this next part is where you can use your views. If you've ever gone on the MLS and pulled up your views, um, if you don't know how to do that, call me, call your broker. Um, but you can you can go into your listings on the MLS and there's a little button called views and you can see how many people have viewed the property. So either publicly or privately. So private is going to be agents that have viewed it. Uh, public is going to be the, the, the uh, clients or the public of Utah real estate. And so this just kind of goes through. And the, what I love about this is, you know, hey, here's all the people that have viewed it, agents that have pulled full reports. The great thing about this is the marketing that we're doing here at Remax is working, right? So the, the last thing they can say to you is, you know, what, are, what else are you doing? So if you get a phone call or a text, right? And the text goes something like this. Um, hey, what are you doing for me? Like, I haven't seen it on Facebook. I haven't seen it. Like, what social media are you doing for me? Like, wh what kind of advertising are you going to do? And they just go off on you, right? This is a great conversation to have with them. And you really should be pulling the PDF of these views weekly um, and going over this with them so that there's never that conversation that you're having with them because they already know what this is. And you're saying the marketing's working. We have this many views, this many people viewing it. So as far as me doing more, I mean, we already have thousands of people viewing your home on site. But there's, there's a disconnect. There's a disconnect with price and value. So we've, we've got to drop the price because for, other than you doing something with the home, you know, making changes, upgrades, whatever, which I'm assuming you don't want to do, um, price is really the only thing that we can do at this point, right? So that that's a really strong conversation to have, especially if you've, you know, set that up in from the beginning. So that's just some ideas for you to have, and that should be attached um, to this um, role play for today. So if you guys have any questions on any of that, you guys can give me a call also. So. Um, any questions on anything from today? Did that help to like maybe give you another another avenue to just, you know, call around? It, it doesn't even have to be your soul or your listing. You can pull up another company's listing. You can pull up another company sold. You can look at a buyer, right? You can look at a company's, anybody in the company's buyer. You know, talk to other agents and say, do you have a buyer that you're not able to find a home for? You know, yes, I'm trying to find something in the Highland that, you know, this, this criteria. Then go out and try to find a, a house for that buyer, right? And then your conversation with those homes are, you know, we have a buyer that in our, you know, that we're trying to find a home for. This is what they're looking for. You know, set up an appointment to get them through right off the bat and then start asking the questions. Right, go out. This is the best way to go find listings. When you have business, business breeds business, right? So listings, go out and talk to the neighbors. Go find a home for the, for the buyers. This is, I mean, I have found so much business this way, so many listings this way. And it really does. I mean, especially if you're gonna go out and knock on some doors, this is one of the best ways to go out and just talk to people, knock on doors. Um, especially if you have intention behind it. And I, I can't tell you how many times I've gone out and talked about listings or sold, closed, and people have wanted to know the information about homes that have closed and just haven't been able to find the information. And when you go knock on the door and they're like, 
oh yes, we've been wanting to know the information on that house, right? Or are you the agent? Or, you know, even if you're not the agent, they're glad to get the information. So, um, like I said, I hope this has been beneficial. Um, I think the prequal is extremely important if you're going to go out and do this business, because instead of just going out on everything, uh, make sure you're pre-qualifying people with those questions so that you don't feel like you're kind of knocking your head against the wall. So anyway, if there's anything I can ever do with you, if you want me to make calls with you, I'm happy to do that. Um, anything I can do for you as far as questions, please feel free to give me a call. Thanks, Katie. Everybody, yeah, everybody's really quiet. <laughs> Thanks, Katie. I'm going to take my mute button for a minute. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, everybody have a great week. Everybody have a great day. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys next time. We'll see you. Thank you. Thanks, you guys. Bye-bye.